Okay, so, good morning. It is early in the morning and I've got birds out in the room, so a bird might fly past. My name is Carolyn Cowan and I'm a Kundalini Yoga teacher and as discussed, I know you can't see it, but this says 40 days to change. So we will have tuned in and we'll have warmed up. So I have tuned in on Namo, Gurudev Namo in prayer pose three times. Om Namo, Gurudev Namo. Om Namo, Gurudev Namo. Om Namo, Gurudev Namo. And then, warmed up, however you like to warm up. I do miracle bends, standing up and bending over. And I do cat cow, because I find that just really stretches the whole of the body. So let's imagine that we've done both of those things. I'm gonna take you through what each of the postures are in this series, short versions. So the first posture is Sufi grind. Sufi grind, in the context of 40 Days to Change, is fabulously releasing stories, attachments, it's about detoxifying the thought process and the physical body, and it stimulates the vagus nerve. And in stimulating the vagus nerve, it produces huge amounts of dopamine, which is why we love to do Sufi grind. So your eyes are closed, your tongue is pulled back, pressed up. Long, deep breathing. So sliding to the side, inhaling the chest open, going around, exhaling the chest back. It's a very sensual exploration, moving your hip, I'm sorry, very sensual exploration of your rib cage around your pelvic girdle. And yes, actually, I really do do it this slowly with this much awareness of posture. So all the way round in one direction for a minute, and then round the other way for a minute. So this first posture is going to be three minutes, so then you do the other way for 30 seconds, and then you go back for the last 30 seconds the other way. And then you'd inhale tall and straight and pull the locks and exhale, and then I would really support you in sitting cross-legged because it's delicious afterwards because of all the dopamine. The dopamine is what we want when we feel really anxious, and when we want to misbehave ourselves and take lots of drugs and do things that we're not supposed to do. We're looking for external validation. Hands in prayer pose, the next posture, eyes closed, breath of fire. I'm doing three minutes of breath of fire and I'm doing a dynamic prayer pose, which means my wrists are at a right angle. So I'm stimulating the breath. Breath of fire is rapid pumping breath. It's a very, very wonderful breath and it kind of snaps you into, wow, I feel fantastic. Three minutes. Your next posture is your legs are straight out wide apart and your arms are straight up, hands facing forward and it's long, slow, deep breathing. And slow is a really important word, so it's, it's really counting the breath and becoming completely present to the canary who wants to be part of the video. And this posture is held for three minutes. You keep your eyes closed because now what you've done is you've released dopamine in the first posture, you've expanded your lung capacity in the second posture, and in the third posture, when you get to the end and you pull the locks, and then you keep your eyes closed, and you put your arms down, you have an endorphin rush, and endorphins are delicious. If you need a rest, because that's nine minutes, with quite intense posture, take a rest. And then when you start again, you're on your back, lying on your back, and you're hugging your knees 
with your nose between your knees doing breath of fire. So this posture, very, very tight, curling up as much as you can. Its job is to make all of this ache. So it's stimulating the thymus, which is your sense of humour, your will and your immune system. It's a natural antidepressant, the thymus, which is where we regulate our anxiety and depression from. You're stimulating the thyroid in the neck here. The thyroid is how we metabolise our reality as well as our food and our sleep. You're stimulating the third chakra, you're massaging the adrenal system, and you're compressing the liver. So it's a fabulous posture. So you do three minutes of that with your nose between your knees. And then you enjoy coming out of the posture and take a moment really in your body, feeling all of this part. It's like a sort of crucifix across the body of detoxification, of stimulation. It's a fantastic posture. And then from there, you go into cobra, where you're inhaling through your mouth, exhaling through your nose. So cobra, cobra is a position that's about taking responsibility. It's about enabling you to take responsibility. So cobra, your hands go under your shoulders, your shoulders go back, come up, neck long, stretching all of the vagal system in the body. We're going to... Keep the shoulders down, the neck long. You're going to inhale through the mouth. Exhale, nose. Exhaling strongly through the nose. When you get to the end, the long, deep inhale, Pull the root lock and then relax down and then if you need to curl up into child's pose. So cobra stretches all of the vagal system, massages the uterus, the fallopian tubes, cobra massages the uh, adrenals and the kidneys and it's, it's an extraordinary stretch on the inside of the spine. It's a potent posture, it's not one that we particularly enjoy, but make sure that your shoulders are down. Once you come out of your cobra, so let's go back to cobra. So here's cobra, coming out of cobra. Once you come out of your cobra, you come onto your back, and you hug your knees and you roll on your knees which is fantastically stimulating for the spinal system and the core abs, the third chakra and the intestines so you literally I tend to always inhale up and exhale back but you may prefer to breathe the other way around I'm not attached your next posture is for your brain. So left leg, right arm, breath of fire. Inhale, hold the breath. Take a moment because if you do do two minutes of that, you really feel it. This one you would do um, not three minutes each side, you do two minutes each side. So you'd end up doing four minutes of this. And if it's a short morning, just do a minute each side. Come up, think, use your brain, because that's the purpose of the posture, swap sides. Breath of fire, long deep inhale. And then it's a wonderful relaxation back in child's pose. And from there, we go into life nerve stretch. The job of life nerve stretch is to change how you think, to open your mind. So you inhale up, elbows back, armpits open, stretch up, really pull open the chest. Exhale forward. If you can, your index fingers are around your big toe, your thumb is pressing the nail and your head is down with long, slow, deep breathing. And as you get more flexible, 
And as the nervous system settles, you can go lower. Long, deep breathing. Three minutes. And relax. At the end, take a long, deep inhale and pull the locks. And exhale. The last of the postures is a pranayama. Your hands, pranayama, divine practice, gyan mudra, right thumb under right nostril, breath of fire through the left nostril, eyes closed, tongue pressed up. Get to the end of two minutes, hold the breath, change nostrils. Get to the end, hold the breath, pull the locks, and be still. Do not immediately open your eyes. Enjoy what you've just done. 40 Days to Change is a powerful series. It's very, very lovely. And it comes with a specified relaxation pose, which is arms on the floor above your head. So I'm a very open-minded teacher. If you don't want to relax like that, don't relax like that. When you get to the end, you chant Satnam three times. And the thing I want to say is everybody, lots of people are saying, oh, how long are the postures? It's not specified. If you haven't got very much time, do one minute of each. If you've got medium time, do two minutes of each. 